uh, is uh, very good for your vocabulary. Uh, you're able to speak the English language with proficiency. And so I love doing that because I do a lot of speaking and that's one of the things that you might think about. When I think about Mike, I think about other great players that I had. Uh, one that many of you will remember is Neil Jeffrey, who was our stuttering quarterback. And uh, he was stunning to me when I arrived here and didn't have any facilities. And one of the coaches introduced Neil to me and he couldn't talk to me. And I said, well, who's that? And they said, well, that's your starting quarterback. <laughs> and so he was a profound stutterer. But uh, boy, did he handle it and he still handled it. He is a minister, a preacher, and uh, he still stutters, but uh, he, uh, he, he handles it and his church loves him. But what he had that br was brought to the table, I remember in the Texas game in 1974, uh, we were down 24 to seven at halftime, but we had played really well. We'd had some turnovers and some things happened to us. This is in 74. You remember Baylor hadn't beaten Texas in 18 years in 1974. And they hadn't won a championship in 50 years. So it was very uh, much against that Baylor football team that they could beat Texas and win the championship. But I remember coming off the field 24-7 at halftime, and we're going up the stairs there in the old uh, stadium. Our dressing room uh, was on the second floor. And so we're going there and we get to the stairs and I'm going up and I, there's a player beside me and I look over and it's Neil Jeffrey. And he has this huge grin on his face and we're down 24 to seven. I, I'm not happy. So I just stopped him. I just grabbed his arm, stopped him. I said, what do you find funny about us being down 24 to seven? He said, no coach, it's not being down 24 to seven. It is that we've got them right where we want them. What a, what an attitude. We're down 24 to 7, and he says, we got to wind where we want them. And I said, well, why do you say that? He said, you think about it, Coach. Everything that we planned worked. We just had a turnover. They hit a long uh, pass, and uh, they jumped out ahead of us, but we got them right where we want them. And, of course, uh, in the third quarter, we blocked a field goal, uh, or, a, yeah, a field goal, or a punt it was. And uh, then we take it on in and score. And from there on, it was uh, Baylor's ball game. And uh, uh, I, I just use that as an example is that we're down uh, 24 to seven right now uh, as people, as a country, as an organization, because a lot of uh, negative things have happened in the first half of this game. And I just want us all to think about that, that in this second half, as we all work together to fight this pandemic, that has stricken our country. I want us to be able to see very much uh, what we can do as individuals, what you can do as a club. And I think one of the most positive things, and this is number one that I wanted to share with you today, is a positive attitude. Uh, the second is effort. Uh, I, I believe, uh, you know, you can be an individual with less talent on the football field and if you're willing to give total effort every day, every way on every play, uh, you're gonna play. You're gonna play for me, I can tell you that for sure, because I believe in effort and I think effort pays off. And uh, so many players that, that I had uh, came about because of their effort. Mike Singletary was one, if you remember Mike. Mike uh, uh, was a young man that was just so committed and, and he could not stop out on the football field. He kept moving all the time. And uh, so, you know, he, he was just so impressive. Uh, when we took him uh, and gave him a scholarship, honestly, nobody was recruiting him. After I offered him a scholarship, uh, a couple of the big universities in the state of Texas uh, came in and offered him a scholarship. But his uh, ability to motivate others stemmed from his effort. So he had the great attitude, but he also had the effort. Uh, one of the things that I uh, would also like to share with you uh, is the fact that you have to not only give effort, but you must maintain uh, you know, your belief 
in what you're doing. Uh, if you have a purpose and you have goals, then that helps you very, very much in terms of your own uh, desire and ability to get things done, a goal and a purpose. So the, the fourth thing that I want to share with you uh, has to do with, uh, I'm making sure on our time here, uh, I, I wanted to share with you the, the power that is within each of us and it's a God-given gift and talent that comes out of, uh, of our heart, and it's called love. Uh, it's our families that we love. Uh, it's our friends, our neighbors, our club members uh, that we love. And also, we love this great nation, and we love the opportunity to serve others. And that hasn't changed in this pandemic. And we want to remember that opportunity uh, to serve others uh, is still there. Uh, we, we have uh, folks every day that called on Elle and I because we've been right here in this house since we were told that was the right thing to do. And, uh, but we have so many friends, so many neighbors, so many people that call to check on us to see if we need anything. Hey coach, we're going to the grocery store, do you need anything? I believe that each of us during this period of time, if we can share our own love with others that may not be receiving it, uh, folks that you know in your community, pick up the phone, call them, see how they are. We, we get phone calls every day from everywhere. People saying, coach, you and Donnell okay? We're fine, we're doing just great. Are you all okay? And of course, they'll respond in the proper way. But that's one of the things that uh, I think that we all should remember. And it's been a great privilege and uh, always an honor to share with you guys this morning. And just remember, you know, it's our attitude, it's our effort, uh, it is the fact that we can love others and we express our love through our actions both at home, in the club, and in this great nation. God bless you all, and have a great day. Thank you, Coach. We appreciate your time and coming and uh, sharing some uh, stories and some wisdom to us um, 